They are distributed uh, irregularly, so they are like uh, isolated patches of forest. Uh, they are part of the Andes, Andes mountain chain, mm -hmm. but not in the center, but further to the east. And are they in threat? Yes, they are a threat. Uh, mainly because uh, during the 80s, they exported uh, nearly 19,000 of these parrots. Um, um, this fact, together with habitat loss and degradation, lead to uh, a, a, a strike and decline. Okay. Where do they export those parrots to? Mainly to Europe. As what? As pets? As pets, yes. Because they are uh, of the genus Amazona. Uh -huh. They are of the same genus that uh, the, the speaker parrot, parrot mm -hmm. you know? So they can learn to speak. Okay. Talk. So how then is this, is this um, uh, exportation for or exploitation for the pet trade? Has that stopped? Okay. Yes. Uh, this bird is included in Cities 1. Uh, that means that it cannot be commercialized. Okay. So, um, we know that these exploitations affected this, the population because our census uh, gave us a number of nearly 6,000 parrots only in Argentina. So less than the third part of these parrots that were, were exported in the 80s are now in Argentina. So. It's a very low population. Is, is that why that they're at threat because of the in the 1980s of the of the pet market? That's one of the main reasons. Uh, the but now actually now is habitat loss and degradation. Okay. So what are you doing to try to stop this habitat loss and increase the parrot population? Uh, we are trying to mostly uh, doing some uh, advocacy. We we got this this parrot to be included. Uh, as a, to be considered as a near threatened species. It was like a less, least concern, now it's near threatened. Um, other thing, uh, we're trying to expand their uh, protected areas uh, by expanding already existing protected areas mm -hmm. and by trying to, to create privately very uh, protected areas. Um. Why is it important to um, uh, preserve this parrot? This parrot is uh, is feeding habitat. Uh, its feeding habitat is uh, like uh, seventeen hundred to twenty two hundred meters in altitude. Mm -hmm. uh, this this part of the forest uh, is one of the most humid parts, so it receives a, a lot of rain during the rain season, which is in summer. Uh, this parrot eats, uh, it feeds in about 22 native trees, mm -hmm. so it, it spread the seeds of these trees. Mm -hmm. So if this parrot disappears, the, a lot of trees are going to start declining in their population because they, their seeds are going no longer to be distributed mm -hmm. among the, this forest. So these forests are really important in watershed when we are talking about what to share. Uh, anything else you'd like to tell us of, that's important about the project? What I find really interesting about this project is that um, when we were first uh, planning this project, we thought it would be it would be it was going to be really hard to, to work with people from other countries. But these people are really interested in this part too, so it made it a lot easier to work. Um, it, it felt really good to work with brothers, as brothers, you know? Uh, I think that's one of the greatest things thing that this project left, left me. Terrific, thank you very much.